What is going on guys? I am back with part 4 on how to build this large country farmhouse and in this video I plan on doing the landscaping around the building. Okay, so I'm going to start by doing the front yard first. So you're going to want to go ahead and get some oak wood, dark oak pressure plates, granite, bricks, brick stairs, podzol, coarse dirt, lime terracotta, and green terracotta. Okay guys, so I went ahead and cut out the shapes for the garden, so I'm going to be using my oak wood to fill all of these holes in, but I would recommend just cutting out the holes for now so that you can keep up. So I'm going to start at this right side. You just want to make sure you're lined up with these two blocks of andesite here, where the entrance to the house is. So I want two blocks going out towards the front, and then one going in. And then we want to kind of like turn it and have two, go out, have three, go out, have four, out another block, and this is one, two, three, four, five. Now you want to go back in, have another four, go back in, have three, in, have two, in, and have one. Now you want to turn it towards the house. Then you want two, go out, have three, out, and then have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so from up above, looking at it from the front side of the house, it should be looking like that. Now, I went ahead and did the upper layer here. So I already placed my blocks. So you want to start here at the corner of the house. You should still have three spaces remaining after you finished cutting out that. So right here, I have three blocks. Then I go in, I have two. In and one. Now you kind of want to turn it towards the front porch and have two. Bring it out, have two more. Out, have one. And out, have two again. And it should be lined up with that andesite right there, just right next to it. Okay, so now after you have that done, I'm gonna head on over to the left side of the house. So once again, you just wanna make sure you're lined up with the andesite on this side now. And we're gonna have two, and then one. Turn it, have two. Go out, have three. Out, have one, two, three, four, five. Go out and then have one, two, three, four, five again. Now you want to go out and have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go back in, have another five. One, two, three, four, five. Go back in, have another five. One, two, three, four, five. Go back in and have four. One, two, three, four, and then go in again, have three, in again, have two, and in one more, and have one. Now, you want to kind of turn it so it's facing the house. You want two more, and then three, and it should be lined up with the corner at this side of the house where the garage doors are. Okay, so I'll go up above just in case if it's easier for you. So it should be looking like that on this side. Okay, and now we have this like uh, higher shape right here, the raised shape. So you wanna make sure you're lined up at the corner at this part of the house. You wanna bring it out too, and then kind of like go in towards the porch and have one. Then you wanna kind of like turn it, bring it over to the right too. Go out, have two more. Now go back in, have two. Go back in, have two again. And then go back in and have one. And you should be lined up with the corner right here where the andesite is. Okay, so now after you have all of the shapes down for the garden areas, you can then switch to your dark oak pressure plate and just cover up all of these wooden blocks. 
just like this. So I'm gonna go around, cover them all up. Okay, so there we go. From up above, you should have the garden areas all marked out now and it should be looking like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out all of the grass and that strip right there that you may have placed within the shape for the lower level. You also wanna make sure to get underneath these parts where the front porch is. Okay, so like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut all of this out. And then I'm also gonna be doing the same thing to the lower side at the left side of the house. Okay, so now from up above, I have that lower level cut out. So just make sure it looks like this. And once again, like I said, I'm going to be doing the same thing to the left side over here. Okay, so there we go. I cut this side out now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my podzel and fill in all of that empty space that you cut out. And you also want to do the same thing to the upper level as well. So we're just going to be covering right on top of all that glass or all that grass, not glass. So like I said, I'm going to just start with my podzel, fill all of the space in, and then I'm going to go back and cut out a bunch of random holes and replace it with coarse dirt. Okay, so I just finished filling in that lower area and I did notice that I missed a block right here So just make sure to get that And now I'm just gonna do the same thing for this higher level and then I'm also gonna fill in all of the space on that side Okay, so I just finished going around and filling in all of that space with Podzel now I'm gonna go back, cut out a bunch of random holes and replace it with coarse dirt. So I'll start at this section right here so you know how to do it. So just like this, it's how I always do like all of my driveways and stuff and it's similar to the roof. I'm just gonna cut out a bunch of random holes. So I think, I think that should be pretty good. Just try to even it out between the coarse dirt and the podzel. Now I'm going to fill in all of these holes with the coarse dirt. So it just gives the garden areas a little bit more texture. So there we go. Now we have a mixture between those two blocks. Now I'm going to go through all of the other areas and do the same thing. Okay, so now just make sure the garden areas are looking something like this for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the pathway that leads to the door and wraps around to the driveway for the garages. But once again, just make sure your garden areas are looking something like this. Okay guys, so now I went ahead and cut out the shape for the path and the driveway. So I'm going to start all the way over here next to this garden area all the way at the right side of the house so what you want to do is just start cutting out some blocks right here off the corner of this space of three so we have the two one two and then right here where the three is so you want to go from that corner and you want to cut out one then one two one two three four one two three so from up above, it should be looking like that. Now you want to skip over three spaces and on the fourth block, you want to start cutting out some more blocks. So we have one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. 
And then I believe we have eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you want to go back in, have five. One, two, three, four, five. Go back in, have four. One, two, three, four. Go in again and have another four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, two. And then one, two, and one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'll go up above again. So you have that shape. It might be a little bit easier for you to see like this. Okay. Now I'm going to do this little shape right here. And this is mainly going to be for the driveway. So you then want to start here. You can skip over five blocks. And then on the sixth block, you want to have one, two, three, four. And then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Lots of counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then go back in, have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, one. One, two. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, and four. And it should be right where the corner of this building is at the back side of the house. So right next to where the garage doors are. So now, here, I'll look up above so you guys could get this shape, just in case. Alright, so, like, that. Okay, so now, I'm going to switch to my dark oak pressure plates, and I'm just gonna go back here, or, where to, or wherever, and I'm just gonna cover up all of these blocks of wood. Okay, so now after you have that shape all marked out, you can then cut out all of the grass within that shape. So I'll just start over here. Make sure to get all of this concrete that you may have placed for the shape, for the plot size. And you can just cut out all of the stuff within the shape. Okay, so I just finished cutting out all of the grass within the shape. So now I'm going to switch to my bricks and I'm going to completely fill in that shape. And then I'm going to go back and cut out a bunch of random holes the same way that I did for the garden areas. And I'm going to fill in all of those holes with granite and brick, brick stairs. So first off, I'm just going to go through all of this and completely fill it in with bricks. And I'm actually going to use a potion of swiftness so I can get it done faster. So if you guys want to get this done in a half of the time, then I would recommend you doing the same. So I'm going to go through, fill all of this in. Okay guys, so I'm just now finishing up with just the brick. So, it should be looking like that, just every space filled in. Now, I'm going to go through and cut out a bunch of random holes. And I'm going to replace these holes with granite. Okay, so I went around and filled in all of those holes, holes <laughs> with a bunch of granite. Now I'm going to switch to my brick stairs and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the granite. So I'll start over here and I'm just going to have maybe an L shape. Oh no, that's not the L shape. Maybe just like two blocks like that. And then maybe I want an L shape here. So you could place one and then place one like kind of reversed from that. So it makes an L shape. So instead of having it on like an inner turn, it's like wrapped around on an outer turn. So it looks like that. Maybe just one block here. 
maybe one is there two here just side by side so i'm gonna go through and do all of this so let me get my potion again so i could get it done faster and then that is going to be it for all of the texture for the driveway okay guys i went through and put a bunch of holes in the ground so they they're actually just like stairs but it looks like holes and I think I'm going to add a few more right here at this smaller section. So maybe one like there. Uh, maybe one here. It's kind of lacking a little bit. Maybe not one there. I don't like how the wood shows. Okay, how's that? Let's have one more here. And maybe like another one here. How's that look? Okay, I think it's a little bit better. There might be too many side by side like that. And then let's have one more here. Okay. I think that's good. So not too many, but just enough to where you could actually notice them. All right. So now just make sure the front side of the house has like the driveway over there with the pathway and all of the landscaping areas. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is start using my lime and green terracotta. And I'm going to have some strips at the front side of the house to act as mowed grass. So I'm just going to have a patch right here in the center and then a patch over there. There's not going to be any lime or green terracotta on this side. This side is going to be completely empty. I just had the shape going around here. So I had like an estimated size for the plot size, but there's actually not going to be anything there. So I guess I'll just head on over to this right side here. So this corner and you could have however the shape like whatever shape you want with these blocks just make sure you are still within the plot size if you are wanting to still stay within the plot size so i guess i'll just have maybe like one two three four five six seven and i'm gonna try to just curve these in so maybe we could have one two three four five six uh, we'll have seven here as well, and then maybe one, two, three, four. We'll have four on this side. And let's see. Here we'll have five, five, and then one, two, three. One, two, three. And hang on. Here we'll have, um, yeah, I'm trying to stay within the shape, and I'm also just trying to freestyle this. Maybe we can have another six here. So we have six, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Let's patch all of this up. And then one, two, one. Oh, push that back a little bit. So we have three, two, one, two, one, two, three. Oh. Hey man, I can't I can't find a shape for this. I'll go back and let you guys know how many blocks I actually cut out. So we have four, one, two, three, maybe four there. One, two, three, one, two, one, one, two. Okay, there we go. That's pretty good. So now I have uh, six spaces, no, seven spaces there. And then I have six here then four four three two one two and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so now i'm just going to use my lime and green terracotta to have some strips so it looks like mowed grass so i'll have or i'll start over here and I'm gonna start with my green. And I I'm gonna have a strip here. And then next to it, I'm gonna have another strip. Okay. And now I'm gonna cut out another two spaces. And then I'm gonna have a strip of lime. So you just wanna keep doing that same pattern so it looks like mowed grass. So now I have my lime right next to this. And then after this lime, I'm gonna have two more strips of green. So I'm going to use my potion, cut out all of this grass and replace it with the terracotta. 
And then we could do the little section here, which is a lot easier to do. So let me go ahead and get all of this done. Okay guys, I'm just now finishing up this area. So I'll go up above and show you what mine looks like. So two spaces here, two and then one. So from up above, it looks like this. So just a little area for the yard instead of just not having anything here at all. Now for this section here in the middle, I'm going to cut out all of this uh, concrete right here if you may have had it. So I'm lined up with these like pieces that are jutting out for the walkway and the driveway. Now I'm going to cut out all of the grass within that shape. And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the lime and green terracotta. So it's a lot easier considering uh, this is just like a straight line going all the way through. So all we have to do is just have some strips of the colors and that's it. We're not, we don't have to have like a special shape that's like curving and stuff like we did at the right side. So let me cut out all of this. Okay, so there we go. Let me get my potion again. And so I used uh, the green terracotta there. So now I'm going to continue using the green. So just follow along that side. Just bring this all the way to the other end. And then I'm going to have another strip of green right next to this. And then we'll switch to the lime. Okay, so there we go. Now I have this little space here instead of just not having grass or instead of just having grass We have some strips right there now Okay, so there we go. Now we have the strips for the lime and green terracotta and what I'm gonna do is just delete all of this Concrete that I had for the plot size because we're not gonna be having anything else over here So I'm just gonna take care of it since we're not gonna actually be deleting it or replacing it at all so I'm just gonna push this back until right there for now okay so let me go ahead and just get my grass block fill all of this in and then there is another little section at the other side okay there we go so now there is no concrete so that sections good let me get this side now and I guess you could have some lime and green terracotta right here at this corner. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I didn't have any. Let me push this back. And I'll stop it. I'll just stop it right there for now. Let me fill all of this in. And yeah, if you want to, you could have some lime and green terracotta strips right here. And it's a corner but I didn't have it I didn't have any grass right here at or any strips right there at the other side or at this this house so yeah I didn't have anything here but you could if you want to so over here I had the shape for the grass a little bit different like a little bit rounder but I think this still should be fine so yeah, now I'm going to do like all of the flowers and stuff for the landscaping and then that's going to be it for the front yard. We could then head on to the back. Okay guys, now for the landscaping, I just grabbed a bunch of random flowers. I have some melons and oak leaves as well. So I'm going to start out with the oak leaves. I'll just go out the right side over here and I'm just going to have a big bush in the corner. So we just fill up that space. Okay, that's pretty good. And then I'm going to have another one, maybe just like right here. Okay, that's pretty good. And let's see. I'll have one more right here. That should be good. So try to like even it out. Make sure they're not too close. So I think that's pretty good. Kind of just fills in some space. Now I'm going to have maybe like four over here since this area is bigger. So I'm going to have one here. All right, 
I think that's pretty good. Maybe one more here. Uh, let's see, is beefing that up a little bit. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Oh, fill on that. Okay, that's good. I'm um, gonna have maybe one... Here, I'll have one up in the corner up here. I think that's good. And then one more all the way over here. So now that we have the bushes taken care of, I'm then going to switch to the melons. Uh, hang on. Okay. So now I'm going to switch to my melons, and I'm going to kind of do the same thing. So maybe we could have one there. Maybe one here. Not too many. We don't want that many. We don't want to overfill it. So maybe like, what do I have? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That should be good. Okay, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine on this side. And then maybe like five over here or so. So like one here, two, three, four, and we'll have five and six. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to use all of my flowers and stuff and just like randomize it. And normally what I would do with my landscaping, I would just completely fill up every single space with like flowers and grass and stuff until like every single space is filled up. But in this case, I decided just to do something a little bit different. So I kind of like just filled up like half of the space. I still left a bunch of spaces empty. So I guess I'll just show you this side and then I'll do the same thing over there. So I have my lilacs. I'm just going to place a couple. I think that's good. Maybe one here. Just try to even it out. Kind of similar to the melons, but maybe a few more. Okay, now I'm going to do the same with the peony. I think that's how you say it. So yeah, I like to use the tall flowers. They're probably my favorite. And I also don't like to have too many of them because it might be too overdone if you have like just all tall flowers. And then I'm going to use the rose bush, try to even it out the same way again. So this is what I would normally do. But what I'm doing different is, like I'll show you, but whenever I have leftover space after doing all of the flowers, I always just use like some, some of the grass to fill in all of the space that's remaining. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Then let's switch to these flowers or any other flower you want. All right, I think that's good. Now I have some ferns, so I'm gonna do the same thing with these. And then whatever leftover space I have like left over, whatever space I have left over, I would normally just use the grass and completely fill it all in. But like I said, in this case, I'm going to use tall grass. I'm going to kind of do the same thing that I've already done. And then any leftover space, I'm just going to leave empty. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So it should be looking something like that. You could completely fill it in if you want to, but in this case, I'm not going to. Maybe I could have one here and here. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay guys, so I just finished doing this side now. So now the front side of the house is done. We could then head on to the back. Okay guys, so one thing that I almost forgot to do, I have some oak leaves. I'm gonna go at the right side over here and I'm just gonna wrap around oak leaves around the pathway and the driveway. So just right along there, I'm not gonna have any around the garden area. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, just wrap it all the way around until we reach that back left hand corner of the house.
and there we go so i'm just gonna stop it there let me actually get rid of these blocks okay so there we go now is the front side of the house is done i just wrapped around some oak leaves okay guys now i'm at the back side of the house and you just want to make sure to get some oak wood again some dark oak pressure plates podzol and coarse dirt and as you can see i already cut out the shape and did the upper layer for this garden area back here so i'm going to switch to my oak wood but just for right now i would recommend cutting out the holes so you can keep up and i want to make sure i'm lined up with this corner right here at the back left side of the house and then you want to cut out two one one two three two two one then two one two one two one two three four two one two one and two okay so from up above you can see it a little bit easier it looks like that okay and then for the upper layer i placed three starting at that corner then two one two three 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 and two okay so now i'm going to use my dark oak pressure plates and cover up all of this wood Okay, so now for the bottom level, I'm going to cut out all of this grass as well as this strip of concrete here. And I'm going to replace it with podzol just for right now. And then I'm also going to fill in this upper layer with podzol. So I guess I'll do the upper layer first. Let me fill all of this in. Then I'll go to the bottom layer, cut out all the grass and fill that layer in with podzol as well. So I'm actually going to get a potion of swiftness. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then after I fill all of this in, I'm going to cut out a bunch of random holes once again, and I'm going to replace it with coarse dirt. Okay, I'm just now finishing up with the podzol. So it looks like this. Now I'm going to go through, cut out a bunch of random holes and replace it with coarse dirt. Okay, so now the garden area for this side is looking like that. Okay guys, now you could get your lime and green terracotta and I'm going to start doing the strips for the mowed grass. So I'm going to start over here at the right hand corner of the house. Okay, I think that's good. So from up above, I have a shape looking like this. So obviously you don't have to have it exactly like mine, but I'll go over here and I have five, four, three, two, one. And then I have two, three, four, five, seven. And then I went back in, I have five, four, two, one, two, one, two. And then it looks like seven, uh, eight, and then I think seven here. Yeah. Okay. So now, I guess I'll go ahead and cut out all of the grass within that shape. I'm going to cut out all of the concrete as well. So I'm going to get my potion, get this done really fast. So after I cut all of this out, I'll start doing these strips of grass. Okay guys, I just finished cutting out all of the grass within the shape, so it looks like this. Now I'm going to use my lime and green terracotta and I'm going to have some strips to look like mowed grass. So I'll start over here at the right side and I'll, I'll just start with my lime and I'm going to have them going in this direction. So I'm going to have them like that instead of like that. So at the front side of the house, 
If you look at the front side, the blocks are going from the left to the right. But then the strips back here, if you're looking at the back side of the house, they're going to be going up and down, not left to right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and have the same pattern that we had at the front. So just lime and then green, two spaces for each one. So I'm going to fill all of this in. And then we just about have the landscaping done. All we have left, oh, whoops. All we really have left to do is a tree with a little bit of a garden area that I'm going to have. And then I also have a trampoline and I believe that's everything. Okay guys, I'm just now finishing up with the lime and green terracotta. And now that we have the yard where we want it, you can then just delete all of the remaining concrete because we're not going to be bringing any of the yard all the way back here. Like I said, I just had the shape going like an estimated plot size. So as you can see, that little piece of grass or terracotta does go out that far. So that's why I have this strip going all the way out here. But in this case, we could just completely delete all of the rest of this concrete. So I'm going to do that. And then, oh yeah, I forgot. We still got to do all of the flowers and stuff for that. And there is a little tiny thing that I'm going to have over here at the back right side of the house. Just to give a little bit more detail because normally houses, at least where I live, have these. So first let me cut out all of this concrete. And then I'll show you what I mean after I do this. I almost got it. I think it ends right around here. I think I also have two spaces that are just like left over. Yeah, all, like at the left. I don't know how that's still sitting there right here. I don't know how that's there, but okay. So yeah, uh, the little thing I was talking about, you could get some blocks of iron and some rails. I'm going to go right here, like right around here. And I'm going to place four blocks of iron like that. And then I'm going to have rails on top of it. So these are like the AC systems that we have near our houses. So yeah, it looks like that. So that's a little touch of detail you could add at the back side of the house. Let me go ahead and fill in all of this, all of these holes with my grass. And then... Let's see, yeah, we have like a tree with a little area of landscaping around it. So I'll show you how to do that. And then I have a trampoline. So let me fill all of this in. I'll just go ahead and start doing it right now. There's no need to skip anything. Okay, I almost got this all done. And for the garden area, I am going to skip over that because that's going to take a little while. A couple minutes. I don't want to just be showing all of that. So first off, I'll do the tree over here so it's gonna be like right here it's gonna cover up this side of the house so i'm just gonna cut out a random shape so this is gonna be like the garden area so it doesn't matter how it is just go ahead and have kind of like a round shape but you can like randomize it like i did here but like i said it still does look round it's not like boxy or anything and it's not like there's no like on or diagonal blocks or anything. It still kind of has like a round shape to it like that. And I'm also going to, here, let me clear this and I'll get some oak wood, then dark oak pressure plates. You could also get some more podzol and coarse dirt. And I'll just leave it at that. So all of this space around the shape, I'll just fill in with oak wood. Okay, like that. So I'll go up above. You guys could count the blocks if you want it exactly like mine. So it looks like this. Let me get rid of this potion. Okay, there we go. So it looks like that. Now I'm just going to fill all of this in with some podzol. Okay, and let me go ahead and do all of the pressure plates and then I'll cut out a bunch of random holes replace them with coarse dirt Okay, so let me cut out some holes 
Oh, whoops. Replace that with coarse dirt. And how's that? Uh, let's get one more there. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now let me save just in case if I don't get a big tree. But I'm going to get a block of glass and a oak sapling. Oh yeah, I also need bone meal, so make sure to grab that. Okay, so I'm going to have the tree like right around, right around here. So I'll have a block of glass diagonal from that, like a corner away from it. So I have the sapling there and then bone meal. Okay, uh, that is a little bit of a smaller tree compared to that one. But I think I'll just... Here, I don't know. I think I'm going to back out. Oh, I just saved. I exited and saved. Oh, well, it's too late now. Oh, man. I, I want a big tree because the big tree covers up more of the house and it just looks more realistic instead of a small tree like this. So I am going to delete this and then I'll just keep trying to get a big tree. Okay, let's see how much that does. And there goes the tree. Let me get this little spot here. That should be fine. That should get the rest of it. Boom! Literally cleared everything. Perfect. <laughs> Didn't even touch anything either. So let me get this block here again. Oh wait, let me uh, let me move it over. Get the sapling. Let's save. Let's try this again. Oh, dang. <laughs> Don't want that many. And there we go. Now we have a big tree. That's more like it. So what I normally do with these trees, since they are a little bit of a weird shape, I like to just grab some oak leaves and kind of like patch it up a little bit. Make it look a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Oh, get all of this. This is like a big empty space as well as all of that up there. So I like to try and even out the tree make it look more round so it doesn't have all of these empty gaps everywhere. Uh, let me get this side as well. And I don't know, I think that should be pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Makes it look a little bit better. Okay, so now for this little garden area here, I'll just clear my inventory for now. And I'm going to get some of these flowers. All the stuff that we used at the front side of the house. No bushes though, we don't need any, we don't need any of those. So let me just place some bush, some rose bushes like this. Oh yeah, let me also get the, what are they? The melons, wherever they are. Uh, they're like decorations for whatever reason, they're not even food. Okay, so let me put some melons down. So I would say one there, and maybe just one there. So two like that, should be good. Let me get some more flowers, have two of these. Get some lilacs. And then some blue orchids. And we'll use these as well. Some ferns. And then just some grass. We're not going to completely fill in all of the space. Okay, I think that's good. Let's get that one. So that's good. So that's going to be that little garden area with a tree. Now I'm going to have a trampoline right here. I'll clear my inventory. I'll get... Uh, what is it? String? Wherever it is. There it is. And then we also need... Um, cobblestone walls. Gray carpet. And then whatever color carpet you want to use. So I'm just going to use... I'll use uh, blue. I normally use like light blue or cyan. But I'll go ahead and just use a regular blue. So I'm going to have a cobblestone wall like right around... I would say right around here and then I'll skip over like four spaces like that and then here let me move, let me move it over a little bit so I'm lined up one block away from that and a side just in case if you're wondering I'll skip over like three spaces and then I'll skip over another three spaces so I'm just gonna make a simple rectangular trampoline so if I go up above I have a shape like that I think that's pretty good let me get my string and kind of just like put it in between all of the cobblestone walls for now. Okay, and then I'm going to cover up the border. Oh, whoops. 
we need the colored carpet. So I'm gonna cover this up with blue carpet, in my case. And then all the space in the middle is gonna be gray. So let me get my carpet again, completely fill all of this in. And then I'm gonna use my gray carpet. And I thought I missed that one. <laughs> okay, oh, I missed that one too. It's kinda hard to see. Especially with the lime. Yep, there's another one. <laughs> I think I got them all now. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. Now we have the trampoline. If you wanted to, I guess you could put some slime blocks underneath there so you could actually bounce. But I don't do that because I think it looks more realistic just to have it floating like a normal trampoline would be. So there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and do all of the flowers and bushes and stuff here. And that's going to be it for part four. Okay guys, I just finished doing the garden area, so it looks like this. I think that's pretty good. And yeah, that's going to be it for the backyard, so make sure it's looking something like this. You can have the yard however you want. You don't have to have this shape like I did. Just as long as you leave it in the plot size, if you are staying within the plot size, then you should be good. So yeah, this is what the backyard's looking like. So we have the garden area over there. We have some strips of lime and green terracotta a trampoline that little ac unit there and then the garden area with a tree then if i go to the front yard we have some strips again we have the pathway and a lot more garden areas okay guys so that's gonna be it for part four on how to build this large country farmhouse so if this did help you be sure to please leave a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in part five Later. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back. I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong. Tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every breath. See my message start to spread. And I have to.